In a global world, as you know, we can no longer avoid each other. All those different languages, different customs, cultures, traditions and understandings, all those different experiences, backgrounds and personal histories, all those deep in the bone stereotypes and prejudices, conflicts and misunderstandings, all the water of centuries and centuries gone under the bridge, suddenly, now, they are all in one place, here. The biggest challenge of a global world, I think, is not economic or environmental or military. It is living together. Our country was not created out of revolution. We have no history of civil war. On matters that might have led to the breakup of our country, we held two referendums. For more than 15 years, we've had in our federal parliament a major party whose purpose is an independent Quebec. Our instinct is not to fight, it is to work things out. Immigrants new to the country who carry with them histories of bloody hostility, often against those who are now their next door neighbors, are given a quiet, subtle message when they arrive. It may be the only real obligation of Canadian citizenship. Its message, we get along here. It's not a message for an age of empire. Then the world was about power and might. The strong didn't have to get along, the weak did. The strong could believe they were right and act as if they were right because they could impose right. In Canada, we lived in a huge space, in small, subtle groups in which no group was big enough to pretend to dominate another. The losers of history, some have called them. French Canadians, loyalists, displaced Highland Scots, Irish fleeing the potato famine. We needed each other to survive. We had to get along. So we did. In an age of empire, this made us seem weak and irrelevant. But in a post-empire age, power and might are not enough. The strong can't impose right so easily. The weak are numerous and not so weak to be imposed upon. We all have to find accommodation. We all have to get along. As Canadians, we know how. Many do not. In an age of globalism, this makes us remarkable.